everyone. Good evening and today we're going to do a nice gluten-free chicken pasta. We're going to use olive oil and herbs and seasonings and gluten-free pasta and it's going to be delicious. Here are all our ingredients. If you see any ingredients here you like and can't find in the store, then under the description down below, you can find a link on Amazon. So we'll start with our chicken. We have organic, free-range chicken breast. And you can see I have my manager special for $4.11. I would have paid $8.25. So always look for those manager specials. They're amazing. You can get a few and freeze them and they're good as new. Here we have Skinner gluten-free pasta. This kind is really good. It doesn't get all gritty like other gluten-free pastas. We're going to check out our ingredients here. White rice flour, brown rice flour, corn flour, quinoa, mono and diglycerides. And that's it. I'm not sure about the mono and diglycerides. I can Google them if I like. But I like that there's only five ingredients in here. I have my organic zucchini. I like to get organic zucchini because zucchini is often a GMO, you never know. So just to be safe, I get organic. GMOs have pesticides inside their DNA and we don't want to consume pesticides because they put holes in our cell walls. I have California Olive Ranch olive oil. I love my California Olive Ranch. When tested, it's 100% olive oil. Sometimes you can get olive oil that's not quite what you think it is. I have avocado oil. It's my high heat oil I'm going to use to cook my chicken and my zucchini in. It has a very high smoke point of like 450 to 500 degrees. So it's perfect for stove top cooking or oven cooking. I have my seasonings over here. Garlic powder, parsley, thyme. Italian seasonings. Now make sure you look at the ingredients whenever you have something generic like that. Organic, oregano, basil, marjoram, sage, organic garlic. That's it. Sometimes it has anti-caking things and sometimes the list goes on and on forever. We have our red pepper, black pepper, and Himalayan salt. Himalayan salt is not bleached. It's really good for your body. It's really close to the composition of the salt in your body. It does not make me swell. I use a lot of it and it works with my body. We have lots of garlic. It's like almost a whole clove here. I'm going to put some in my chicken while I cook, in my zucchini when I cook, and in the whole pot. Don't forget your water. I have boiling over here. I have my big pot and it's like a half full. I'm just gonna cook my noodles it and cook my noodles in it and strain it. To start, I'm going to pour my avocado oil in my pan. I'm using cast iron, so I like to use a lot of oil, and I want the pan to be nice and hot before I put my veggies on. I'm gonna cut up my zucchini. If I see a nasty part on there, I'm just gonna cut it out. Take our garlic, smash, cut off the end, and it should peel right out of there. We're going to add our zucchini when the oil is nice and hot. And I'm just going to take a pinch of my garlic and add that in. powder goes in. Italian seasoning goes in. Red pepper goes in. Once the 
the zucchini are done, we're going to add some salt. I didn't cook them too much, they're still kind of crispy. We're going to pour the zucchini and the oil into a bowl and set aside. Now that we've got our chicken washed, we're going to cut it into little squares. About that big. So now we're gonna add some more avocado oil into our pan. Remember we're adding a lot because we have a cast iron pan, we don't want anything to stick. Make sure that oil gets nice and hot. Oil is starting to sizzle. I'm going to take a pinch of my garlic, maybe two pinches. I'm gonna take all of my chicken, We're going to add some garlic powder. Red pepper. Thyme. Italian seasoning. and some salt. And we're going to stir. While the chicken is cooking, we're going to see if our water is boiling for our noodles. Our water is boiling, so we're going to add our noodles. So when our chicken is done cooking, we're going to add it, oil and all, to our zucchini bowl. I'm also going to add the rest of our fresh garlic. You will want to stir the noodles and test them frequently. These take really, really quick to make. so. Standard noodles take a lot longer. These will get really mushy really fast. The noodles are done if I have strained them. Left no water in the pan. Now I'm going to take my mix. I'm going to dump it. I'm going to take my olive oil and I'm going to pour very generously in the pan. Salt very generously as well. This seems like a lot of salt, I know, but don't be scared because remember in processed food and packaged food, look at the sodium content. It's got a lot. This stuff doesn't have any sodium in it yet, so all we're adding is just part of the sodium. So you don't have the sodium and then plus whatever you add on to that, you just have this. Maybe black pepper. And I don't measure, guys, I just guess. So, parsley. If I had oregano, I would put that in. If I had asparagus, I would put that in. If I had mushrooms, I would put that in. But I don't, so we're just going to use what we got. I have red pepper. If you guys don't like spicy, you don't need to add any more red pepper because we've already added it in the zucchini and in the chicken. I like it spicy, so I'm gonna add more red pepper. Not, not too much though, because I have kids eating. Our time. Not too much time. Now we're gonna mix.
paste. It may need more salt, pepper, whatever you think. You can always add more. I always do it to taste, so that's what I got. So now we have yummy chicken pasta, gluten-free, homemade. You know all the ingredients that's in it.